What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon X walkthrough. Okay, so first is first, guys. Didn't even realize this until I took a look at the recording and it was too late. I do apologize for the last episode where you kind of got my uh, laptop my laptop microphone recording instead of my actual Yeti recording. So, yeah, that's my bad. That's my bad. Now, I couldn't change it. I can go back to it because... Technically, after the game was recorded, I sort of saved it, so... Yeah, I couldn't do anything about it. So, again, very, very big sorry. Didn't mean to do that. But if you guys can hear my voice clearly, you know, the majestic voice, bassiness, and all that stuff, then that's great. So, anywho, in this episode right here, we're going to be battling the Santa Luna City Gym Leader, and it is a bug-type trainer, Viola. Now, we do have quite a few uh, Pokemon that can actually go up against her. We do have uh, Fluff Blade, or no, not Fluff Blade, but we do have Fire Blade, which eventually will learn some kind of flying type moves. And then, let's see, who else? We are pretty much at a very good level right here. Aaliyah is also a very good Pokemon to actually use, especially for her Surskit. So, that right there is another Pokemon trainer that we can... Well, we can actually uh, keep an eye out for and all that stuff. So, let's go right ahead and start battling at the Santa Luna City Gym. And look at that. The Santa Luna City Gym. Looking all majestic and everything. I do like the, the graphics into this, all that stuff. So, talking to this guy, he's like, What's the hustle, little Crustle? Welcome to the Santa Luna City Gym. So, future champ, this is your first time challenging the gym, huh? Are you thrilled? Are you pumped? You should be. No matter, no worries here, you've got Pokemon on your side. And really, they're the ones who are going to be doing all the battling. Am I right or am I right? Right? Yeah, you kind of are right. Jump on that pole there, and, you're, and you'll are and you be uh, on your way to where the gym leader is. Uh, the, the gym leader's waiting for you. Whoops. But wait, before you go, I'm supposed to tell you something. Hmm. Everyone in this gym uses bug type Pokemon. Got it? Got it. Wow, that, that, that was pretty much it right there. Okay, so, going back to my stripper days, we're going down this pole, working it, and bam, we're here in front of a, or on top of a big old spider web. Now, best way to get to Vi Viola is just by following the bubbles right here. Sometimes the bubbles will lead you away from some trainers, and if you guys want to get more experience points, then, you know, I do recommend you going to the trainers, like right here, like, you're not supposed to go to them, but I choose to. Because I got Fireblade and Aaliyah that I need to train right here. So, let's see. How do I get there? Okay. And he already saw us. Hey! Are you a challenger? Come on and show me your Pokemon! Oh, damn. Quick to, uh, quick to, uh, to business. So here we go. Youngster David wants to battle us. And he will be coming out with his Ladybug right here. So let's go, Fireblade. Okay. Alrighty. Now, there are quite a few Pokemon that you can capture or trade for. Uh, outside of this gym. For instance, in our last episode, we traded a Bunnelby for a, uh, what was it called? A Bunnelby for a Quacklin, or a Farfetch. That's one very good Pokemon you can get. Just remember that, you know, you trade the Pokemon, or traded Pokemon, will, uh, it will be, a uh, oh, well, for trading Pokemon, it will be a little bit quicker for them to gain experience points. Therefore, they will be getting a little more leveled up, and yeah, you're, you're, you're probably going to have an issue with them ignoring you because you don't have a badge at this point. And look at that. Fireblade grows a level 10. And it learned Peck. So, yes, we got a move here. And we defeated Youngster David. Now, other Pokemon that you can find that can use right here. Um, there are Pokemon such as... Hold on just a sec. Oh, I just got paid. <laughs> um... Other Pokemon such as Litleo can be a very, very good choice. It is both a normal and fire type Pokemon, so yeah, that's one Pokemon that you can do. And I'm trying to get through this whole spider web, but seriously, it's just like not letting me. Look at that, going through the spider web. Uh, let's see, I kind of want to battle that guy. I need to switch my Pokemon out. Also, guys, bring uh, some healing items, such as paralysis heals that you may, may get over at the Santa Luna Forest. Um, poison moves or poison uh, healing items as well. These bug type Pokemon do like to mess with you. And lots and lots of potions. Do you have any idea how quickly bug type Pokemon evolve? Yes, I did evolve 
both a Weedle and a Caterpie all the way to their final form. So probably not that much, especially a Spupa right here. I think that's what a Spupa is. Yes, it's a Spupa. I love saying that word, Spupa. Now, here we go, Thundershock attack. Take that, Spupa. Spupa, I love saying that word. And I, I, oh, look at that. It's static effect finally worked. If you look at that, and oh, wow. Never mind, it had shed skin. <laughs> well, that was a good counter. Very, very good counter, and look at that. Spupa, <laughs> defeated. Sounds like a Mortal Kombat game, to be honest. And look at that. Aaliyah grows to level 10 right there, and it's learning quick attack. So, I'm gonna be taking away Tail Whip. Don't really need it no more. And bam! Quick attack for the win. And we beat Zachary, which is always good. Very, very good. Okay, so let's see. We are very close to the gym leader right here. Now, I kind of want to switch out Pokemon right here because it does have Peck, so it won't won't be hard to defeat the next uh, trainer here. And tee hee hee, such a weak prey. You've been caught up right in my spider web. It's not really your spider web. That is Viola, but here we go. Last Charlotte Flair wants the battle and she's coming out with her Kakuna. All right, Kakuna. I don't like you and you don't like me, but here we go. We're gonna be doing this dangle right here. Going with a peck attack. Alrighty, peck attack does it. Alrighty, and here's that hardened attack. That doesn't really do much, except just heighten your your defense. I mean, if you want to go strategic and all that stuff, and bam, again with the Kakuna, defeated. Oh yes, Fireblade doing his thing, and here he comes out, or here she comes out with a Kobe. So I'm gonna be switching out to Aaliyah right here. I think Kobe is also a flying type Pokemon. I could be wrong though. I could be wrong. We will eventually find out. So here is Kobe, and it's a female version. Oh, damn. So let's go a Thundershock. Bam. It is a flying type Pokemon. Eat that, Kombi. The combination of Fireblade and Aaliyah. Unstoppable. And she's like, no fair, my word wasn't strong enough to keep you. It really wasn't. It really wasn't. Okay. So, let's see. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's go right ahead and heal up my Pokemon right here. Because... This next gym battle is going to be a little difficult. And this Pokemon trainer does have everything covered. So we're going to start off with Leo first. And then we go with everything. Okay. So what's up, Viola? How you doing? That determined expression. That glint in your eyes says that you're up for the challenge. Maybe, maybe. Let's see. It's fantastic! Just fantastic! Oh yeah, this is the lady that likes to say fantastic a lot. I remember you. I remember you. I really do. Is it your first time challenging the gym? Fantastic! Not really. Not my first time, per se. I've battled like thousands of times. I don't know. Whether it's tears of frustration that follow a loss, or the blossoming of joy that uh, comes with victory, they are both great subjects for my camera! Fantastic! Just fantastic! Now come at me! My lens is always focused on victory. I won't let anything ruin this shot. Oh yeah, she took a selfie of me. Alrighty, here we go guys. The very first gym battle in the Kalos region and we're going to be taking on Viola. Viola, and she will be coming out with her circuit right here. Okay, look at this. And here's Pikachu. Alrighty, so... Here we go, in the other side of the screen right here, we got Viola, the gym leader of the Santa Loon City Gym, and she is a bug type trainer. Now, she does have two Pokemon right here. One being a Surskit and the other one being Vavillion. Surskit's at level 12, has Swift Swim. If it's raining, it gets faster. It is both a bug and water type Pokemon. Now its coverage right here is it does, or it sprays out water sport, which will lower the attack of any fire type of attacker. Best way to go about this Pokemon, electric, flying type Pokemon, what have you. Now, the Vivillion right here is kind of like the Butterfree, Butterfree slash Weedle of uh, Kalos. It is both bug and flying, fire, fire Pokemon, flying type Pokemon, 
shit, even electric type Pokemon can go up against this Pokemon. It does have hardened infest infestation and tackle. So just be aware of that infestation. It does get stronger along the way. So let's go back into the other screen right here, guys. Let's do this. Thundershock. Yeah, buddy. And there goes Surskit. One hit KO. Hey, 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 hey. What now, buddy? And look at that. Aaliyah grows to level 11. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. And here comes the billion. So, let's go with Kakashi Hitake. Just because it's at level 14. And it does have a good attack in Water Pulse. Alrighty. Let's go, Vavillion. Time to meet your maker. Very, very beautiful. Now, in this in this generation, Vavillion does have different kinds of forms with its wings. Catch her every single, every single time with the task itself. And look at that. Takes half its HP. Here we go with the Water Pulse. Another tackle attack. Kakashi Hatake looking like a beast. Water Pulse. Nearly beats Pavilion. And let's go with a quick attack right here. But of course, gym leaders like to use potions. So there's an extra 20 points back to Pavilion. So here we go. Quick attack. Nearly does it. Let's finish this guy off. Water Pulse attack. Ah, crap. Tackle attack right there. Ugh. Here we go. Water Pulse for the win. Suck it, Pavilion. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Bam! Kakashi grows to level 15. It's looking quite accomplished right there. And look at that. You and your Pokemon have shown me a whole new depth of field. Fantastic. Just fantastic. Oh, shit. She likes to say fantastic a lot. I don't even know. Okay, young trainer. You. No, it wasn't you alone. You and your Pikachu have shown me a whole new depth of field. Fantastic. Just fantastic. And look at that, guys. Throwing out the peace sign. We got ourselves our first badge, which is the Bug Badge. With that Bug Badge, Pokemon up to level 30 will listen to your orders in battle. Yup, even the ones you get from trades. And here, this TM commemorates your win against the pro uh, photog like me. Pro photog. I kind of forget how, like, this new generation just doesn't like to finish words. Like, they don't like to say babe, they like to say bae. Or, you know, guacamole. They call it guac. Yeah. What kind of times do we live in? <laughs> and here we go. Using a TM like that, one there lets you uh, teach your Pokemon some new moves quicker than a shutter. Set to one, 1,000 can snap shut. TMs are some of the great, uh, or some of the best uh, gear around. They're point and click easy, and you can use them over and over again. Now, the TM that I just gave you is for a move called Infestation. Use it, and it's impossible for your opponent to flee from battle. Now then, can you zoom in a bit and check out the tent behind me? Take the stairs that you, found, that you find beyond it, and you'll be back up to the entrance faster than a flash. I like the, uh... Well, I like the puns that she, put, she throws at me. Okay, so, yeah, we're going to be moving on right here, guys. That's right, guys. One step closer to the Kalos League right here. And, well... The man who's ever... The only man who's ever believed in us. Whoa! Would you look at that... Would you look at that bug badge? Nice! Very nice, future champ. I bet your schemey, uh, schemancy... Or your schmancy pants professor who gave you, uh, your first Pokemon would be amazed to see it. After you heal up your Pokemon in the Pokemon Center, why don't you head up on the Pokemon Lab in Lumioid Lumio uh, City and show them... Uh, huh? I, I, I can't read, guys. I'm sorry. I'm excited. Very excited. Okay. <laughs> So that's one, one down for the record books right there. Now, before we leave, guys, I kind of want to show you something. Now, once you defeat Viola, you can go back and talk to her sister. And she's like, oh, you, you are, aren't you? You're one of those kids who got the Pokemon from Augustine Sycamore, right? Would you look at that? You got a bug badge. Looks like I got, I have a, uh, a new scoop. To beat Viola at your young age, you're really something, aren't you? Oh, sorry. I never, I never did introduce myself, did I? I'm Alexa. The gym leader you just faced, Viola, is my younger sister. I work as a journalist myself. Here, why don't you take this to celebrate you, you uh, getting your first badge? And we get ourselves the experience share. Now, I, we've already we've already been through this in Pokemon Omega Ruby. 
and it's no secret right here. In Pokemon X and Y, not only can you capture Pokemon and get experience points, but the experience share right here can be used for every single person. That's what makes it so much easier for, you know, to level up and all that stuff. And let's see, if you have the experience share, you can turn it on, all your Pokemon on your team get experience points, even if they don't appear in battle. I hope it helps with your training. I work at a big publishing house up in Lumioi uh, City. Feel free to stop by if you have the next big skip to share with me. Okay, alrighty. So, we're feeling victorious, and I'm kind of having an idea of what other Pokemon I should get on my team. That way we can just move forward right here. But, first badge is down, guys. Let me go, go ahead and show it to you. First badge. Right there. Look at that. Okay. So... What else do we have to do? Yes, in the next episode, guys, we will be moving forward to Lumio, uh, Lumio City, and, well, there's going to be a lot of battles. Lots of battles and lots of uh, training and all that stuff. But, again, hope you guys are enjoying this birthday episode. I will be back for part five of July 10th's uh, little marathon. So, thank you guys for walking, or <laughs> watching, <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time. See you guys.